Hi, this is Adam from Inflectra. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to use Rupees to record an automated test of a web application using our scriptless language. So the first thing we need to do is create a new test. We'll go to the file menu and we'll choose the option here to create a new test. The screen that pops up will let you create a test in our Spira team test management system. Um, and if you don't want to do that, you can just choose the option to create locally. Then it will save the test on your hard drive. And then what we need to do is choose the name of the test we're going to put. So let's call it web test scriptless. We have to then choose the type of test. Today we're testing a web application. Uh, this simple library information system. So we need to choose web cross browser testing. The next thing it's going to ask us is which browser do we want to use? And I've got Firefox running, so I'll choose Firefox, but you can choose any of the browsers on this list. Don't worry, you can always change it later. And now it's going to ask us, what is our scripting language? We're going to use the Rapiz Visual Language, or RVL. This is a table-based scriptless approach for writing a test case. If you want to use the advanced JavaScript option, we have a separate video which shows the same set of actions using JavaScript. So now we'll choose RVL. And when you first create the test in RVL, you get this empty grid. When we record our test, it's going to populate this with a list of actions and objects. So let's get started. Let's choose the record option. And that brings up the recorder in the bottom right. As we start to use the application normally, we're going to see actions recorded in the grid. So when I click login, it brings up the login window. I can now type in the login and password which if you're using the same application as me, is librarian and librarian. You'll notice that it's recording what I'm doing as I'm doing it on the bottom right. All my clicks and text entry is captured right here. Now that I've logged in, I want to verify that it logged in with the right username. So I'll use this verify option here. The simplest thing to do is move the mouse over the name that you want to verify, and then choose control and one on the keyboard. That's going to bring up the verification box. You then choose the inner text because we want to verify that the text is correct. But if you scroll down in this box, you can see all the properties you can verify. We'll click OK. When you, and when you do that, it's going to record right here my verification step. Now that I'm verified, I want to create a book. So I click on Book Management, click on Create New Book, and I'll create it Adam's Book Scriptless. And I'll change the author, and I hit Insert. It's created the book right here at the bottom, so I'll choose the Verify option again whilst hovering the mouse over. It brings up the verification choice. I'll choose Inner Text, hit OK, hit Log Out, and then I hit Finish. But before I hit Finish, if you, if you notice it's recorded something twice, because if you click twice, just delete it, and it won't appear in the finished product. Hit Finish. And now we're done. Rupees will then show you this yellow box at the top. That tells you there's a new recording available. I will choose the first row and hit insert here. And you'll notice it's now populated this grid with all my test cases, actions, and objects. These ones here match the tree on the left. You can expand the tree and see each of the objects you've recorded under the window. The next thing we want to do is play back our test. So we hit the save button first and then we hit the play option. And Rupees will now walk through the test case step by step and play back my actions. And Rupees will play it back at a moderate speed. If you want to, you can adjust this playback speed inside Rupees so that if you have specific actions that will take some time, you can make Rupees wait longer if necessary. The playback was successful. It's all green, 100% pass. The next thing we want to do is verify that it works in a different browser. That's very easy too. You just click on the start page, change the browser to a different one. I'm going to choose Internet Explorer, and then you hit play again. It's now going to bring up Internet Explorer and start the playback. As it plays back in Internet Explorer, it's doing the exact same operations. And again, you can slow it down or speed up the playback speed if the browser needs it. And, and there we now see it is passed in the exact same way. So we've now played the exact same script through in both Firefox and Internet Explorer. You can also choose a different browser like Chrome 
or any of the other browsers on that list. So that's how you record a simple web test and play it back in rupees using the scriptless language RVL. Thank you for watching this video about test automation with rupees. If you'd like to watch more videos, please subscribe.